Yeah, Yuri pilot is on board, so close the hatches. We have to go in 10 minutes. Okay, let's go to the machine gear. I uh, start to close the touch cutters. Uh, everybody on deck here and uh, I go to, to start. Okay, Yuri, very good. Since 1992, there have been 16 major incidents involving hatch cover cranes, resulting in three deaths and many serious injuries. Half of these incidents are a result of incorrect hooking, causing the hatch cover to fall, the crane to topple and the operator to be launched into the air. Sometimes crew members on deck are crushed by the toppling crane. Accidents caused by incorrect hooking can be avoided. Uh, now we take a pontoon number seven and uh, put in position. Create a situation of calm, control uh, okay, and order on board. Yes, I'm COVID. -19. Work safely, no matter how much time pressure you are under. Make sure there are always crew members walking on both sides of the hatch crane when it is being okay, operated. Okay. Starboard side. Starboard side, okay, in position. Okay, thank you. Make sure the markings are present and use them to position the hatch crane correctly. Do not start hoisting until correct hooking has been confirmed by the crew members on deck. Tapered hooking pockets and lifting hooks reduce the chance of incorrect hooking, and rail claws reduce the risk of the hatch crane toppling. However, these measures are not an alternative for safe working procedures. It is up to you to create a safe working situation on board together with your colleagues. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> Everything okay. Het was een lange dag. Uh, op een gegeven moment uh, ja, uh, moest er gebalast worden. Uh, uh, maar ja, dan ga je op een gegeven moment in overleg met de stuurman. En, uh, ja, maar de stuurman heeft het ook druk, die is even weg. Ja, toen ben ik uh, aan dek gegaan om zelf maar even te kijken. Dus uh, uh, over de koming ge, uh, geklommen. Op dat moment begint de stuurman te rijden met de luikenwagen. Ja, en mijn vinger ertussen. De bel die, die, die werkte wel. Een shovel in het ruim, de kraan boven me, die maakte een hoop herrie. Dus ik heb dat allemaal niet gehoord dat hij startte met, de, met het verplaatsen van de leuken met de, met de leukenwagen. Dus ja, ik mis een, twee vingers en deze is geknoeid, beschadigd. Je moet altijd om je eigen veiligheid denken. Ondanks uh, dat je al veel uren hebt gemaakt of dat, dat, je, dat je de hele dag bezig bent geweest. Of dat, 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 dat er nog andere dingen uh, die, die je nog moet doen. Heel belangrijk, ja. Regels naleven. Ja. 
Here as well, make sure there are always crew members assisting on deck, no matter how great the pressure of work is. Don't start to move the crane until you've received confirmation that the rail is clear. Track sweepers considerably reduce the risk of injury in the event of a collision. Moving the alarm bell from the top of the hatch crane to near the wheels also helps to reduce the risk, as it makes it easier to hear the alarm at the point of greatest danger. The major cause of accidents involving hatch cranes is human error. Human error as a result of pressure of work and fatigue, not paying attention, poor communication, take personal responsibility, work safely or not at all. If you can't understand what someone is saying, or you can tell that someone doesn't understand you, then take the time to communicate your message clearly. Take note of cultural differences as well, and never give an order to work unsafely. If there is too much surrounding noise, an alarm bell may not always be heard. So make sure you remain extra alert. Every accident involving gantry cranes could have been avoided. Make sure that you don't underestimate the risks and that you always work safely.